Hello YouTube. Parental discretion is advised. This video recommended for those 18 years and older. So I'm Eric the Dumb Electrician and uh, finally getting another video out today. Uh, I was right after I posted the last video I threw my back out and I've been off for a little while trying to recuperate. And so I really ain't had much time to do much or or had the uh, strength to do much out here in the old uh, conservative energy carport and uh, today finally finally going to get a little video out today haven't really done much to it per se but uh, you can see right now we're putting out about 365 368 watts we're real close to what they call uh, solar noon solar noon's about 12:32, and I'm about 12:25. So what that means is, you know, when the sun's at its peak, at its highest, uh, that's the brightest part of the day. So solar noon. So there you go. Got that going on. We are producing a little bit of wind power today. Uh, if I can get a good shot of it, uh, we produced uh, well over half a kilowatt today already. 562 watt hours. Pretty good day so far uh, this is since about four o'clock this morning so we're doing pretty good got the old batteries charging uh bought a bought a new rack that my batteries will go on right there and i'm going to put this board here on it and i'll mount everything to that and get that kind of off the wall and out of the way there and so uh got that going on in here to and i'm going to get all my meters mounted to that as well and and uh, get this part of the shed going. I'll take you inside here in a minute, show you the little meter uh, that tells you uh, I've got a, uh, an ambient weather station and it'll tell you wind speed and, and uh, max and minimum. And it also tells you, you know, how much light we're putting out. Ah, sorry, I thought that sucker really got going there for a second. I can't really see that darn thing. Anywho, it's been it's been getting up over 100 watts today. It's been doing good. As you can see, I got you know when you're producing solar power, you start throwing stuff on to see how many kilowatts you have of power that you can produce in a day. And so I've been flipping lights on. Got a cord that runs over to my garage that I've got uh, lights in the garage plugged into. So you know I'm just throwing everything at it that I can just to see what all it'll run um, while it's down. Uh, I had this hooked up earlier. This here's one of those cheap Chinese uh, vertical wind turbines. I've had this little unit for a little while, and it's just it's just a, a good boat anchor. You know, one of these days I'll take that thing out, tied tied to a rope, and throw it in the water, holding my boat in place. Uh, that's really all it's good for. It it makes about 30 watts peak, and you're just not going to do anything with that. It's just a Chinese vertical wind turbine you can see them on youtube they're junk they're just junk uh, i'd recommend just staying away from it you know uh uh i got friends on youtube that that tried one of those and you know who you are <laughs> but i was hoping you'd have good luck with it but you didn't so uh that's okay them things are just junk uh, i haven't found a good one yet as far as vertical wind turbine goes and uh so anyways uh you can see i had it all hooked up here just just trying some different things, testing it out, ran it through this MPPT uh, charge controller from Epever. And, you know, I started out with this guy uh, when I first started out um, off of a recommendation. And I'll tell you what, Epever's pretty good. If you're just starting out, you know, that's great. Uh, they're really good and uh, they're pretty cost effective as well, too. So, like, uh, you know, if I could encourage, uh, if you're watching this video, if I could just encourage you to, Start out with a solar panel and a battery and a, and a charge controller and inverter. Just a cheap one, just something simple. You know, uh, people keep asking me, you know, why I do solar and and uh, uh, why why I started this little endeavor. And part of it part of it's just a hobby. Curious about it, you know. Um, and you know, part of it's an independent kind of thing. You know, I you know I don't have to rely on the power company now. To make a little power for them you know we go down in a grid down situation i can watch stuff during the day i can plug this into my tv you know it's making plenty of power to, to run all that stuff you know i i've checked wattage on my wife's washing machine we could plug that in there if we had to you know it's just about a 
I don't have to rely on a power company anymore. And just that feeling of, of, of that, you know, being self-sufficient is just a, a good feeling for me. Uh, you know, and I, you can see I've upgraded. I've came a long way with my system, but it's, uh, it's kind of uh, self-pride. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. But, you know, knowing that I can produce power and not have to, not have to worry about, ooh, look, that just got going. 170 yeah it's getting it's got a good gust of wind going right now so anyway uh you know just like i was saying just uh being able to do that without having to rely on the uh, power company and just start small you know just start small whatever your budget will allow uh man i just highly recommend doing it you know and and knowing that you have the ability to do that you know like when everybody else is sitting around going, dang, I can't watch TV, can't charge my cell phone, I can't do nothing. You'll be over there with your little solar panel out there and a battery and an inverter just charging your charging your uh, cell phone and going away, you know, watching TV, you know, think, things you'll be doing things that other people can't do. And, and it'll help you also keep up on, you know, current events and stuff while, while your power's out. So that's why I'm doing, it's not about the money, it's not about saving money, I'm not trying to, to weasel the power company out of out of money you don't know it's just in a in case you know they they do try to shut my power off hey that's okay jackson's got it all right so it's okay um let me take you inside the house and i'll show you my my light meter uh wind uh meter you know um, weather station and uh you can kind of get a, an idea of what the light's doing right now but we're at about 370 watts i've got 600 watts on top of the carport here but it's not aimed right at the sun right now for this time of year so that's why i'm only running about 370 watts on a day like today but anyways let me pause this video i'll go outside talk some more and uh then i'll take you inside so all right here we go so so there's my 600 watts and up there's my wind turbine and uh let me see if i can get a little closer to it sorry about the wind guys There you go, you can hear it. You know, it makes some pretty good noise till it gets to about 100 watts and then it actually quiets down. So when it's pumping out over 100 watts, it'll quiet down a little bit, not quite make as much noise. So, so there's that. That is a 700 watt wind turbine. Uh, the best I've ever got out of it's about 400 watts uh, and about a 35 mile an hour wind. So it doesn't do too bad, you know, you need two. People put up one wind turbine, they think that's going to solve all their electrical needs. It's not. You need at least two wind turbines up there to really, to really get into any kind of power. You know, my, my goal is one day to have four, but, uh, you know, it's good for now what I'm doing with it, playing around with it, you know, uh, learning stuff. That's, that's the main thing. Okay, I'm going to go inside. Okay, here we go. So uh, back inside the house now, um, see it's 1233, so we're right at solar noon, and you can see the watts uh per meter squared i think that's what that stands for 426 uh we hit about 428 there 429 is the max so uh you can see what the wind speed is right now and what the temperature and all that is but that's pretty cool i kind of like having this on there because as uh summer rolls around I'll, I'll be interesting to see what kind of uh um numbers we get you know during the summer and there's your uv index is at four um the, this thing reads off of uh barometric pressure for whether it's partly cloudy or sunny out and so at the at this current barometric pressure it thinks it's partly cloudy it's the only thing i don't like about this uh ambient weather station but other than that it's it's pretty good and it's pretty accurate uh the rain and the moisture we've had it's the rain gauges work like a champ so been real happy with it so far but so there you go um, thanks for watching if you like what you see hit subscribe uh, guys I do have a lot of more videos coming out in the future and got a lot of things planned for this year I just had a little setback with my back and that's okay it's healing up all right so we'll be back at it before long so I hope to talk to you all again real soon have a blessed day and thanks for watching